Amen. He has the whole world. In his hand. He has the whole wide world. In his hand. He has the whole world. In his hand. He has the whole world. He I say he's got the whole world in his hand. He has the whole white world. In his hand. I say he got the whole world. In his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. Heavenly Father, you are wonderful. wonderful. You, you are, are excellent. excellent. You are marvelous. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You've got the whole world in your hand. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, you are wonderful. You are excellent. You are marvelous. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You've got the whole world in your hand. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, you are wonderful. You are excellent. You are marvelous. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You've got the whole world in your hand. You've got the whole world in your hand. You've got the whole world. Father, hands. you've got the whole world in your hands. You've, you've got, got the whole world in your hands. Jesus, you've got the whole world in your hands. You've got the whole world. Father, you've got the ink. Angels and men in your hand, you've got the whole world in your hand. My brethren, we are happy to be in the presence of the Lord. We are rejoicing in the presence of the Lord. I know that life will be wonderful for you. I'm going to talk to you about life in a beautiful way. I'm going to tell you how to live a beautiful life and be comforted in this world. Today, you will find God. You will be happy with God. Today, God will find you. Hallelujah. Amen. Close your eyes and go before the Lord in prayer. Tell the Lord today is a good day in your life. A day the Lord has planned to do you good. A day the Lord wants you to know the truth. The truth that will make you free. For you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. What an excited day. We love the Lord. We love the Lord. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Almighty Father, we worship you. I give thanks to you because it's a good fellowship you're having with your people. You want to reveal the word of life to the people. I'm asking that the power of God will accompany your word to bless their lives. These people will be blessed today. These people will be redeemed today. 
These people will find life today. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You can be seated. God is wonderful. It has pleased God that we should be in your midst today. And this is a very precious moment in the sight of God. Jesus is your sufficiency. That's what I want to tell you. That's the word the Lord is dropping into your life. Jesus is your sufficiency. Jesus is your sufficiency. God did not put in man the ability to live a successful life on earth independent of himself. You have been following a lonely road. Now, I am going to bring you to the road. You will find companionship. I am directing you to the path. You will find companionship and fellowship and comfort. All this lonely life you have been living without satisfaction, something will happen. You are going to follow a better way now. A way of joy, a way of sufficiency. It's like somebody racing animals. He has a store of food for them. And this food is somewhere for them to take. But the animals scatter around. Look at this desert land. This sandy place. What can the sheep or the goat eat here? And so the animal has been wandering looking for what to eat. And are not getting anything. Then... Came a shepherd that directed them to where sufficiency is available for them. So it's your life. So it's the life of your brother. So it's the life of your sister. That you have been living this dry life and finding nothing. I'm directing you where you will find something. Something good for your life. In all ways, human beings are seeing themselves insufficient in life. They desire many things, but they cannot achieve it. Why? They are limited in strength and wisdom. You find yourself limited in knowledge and understanding. You find yourself limited in ability to achieve your desire. Yes. Eh. That, that is according to scripture. The Bible says so. That as you are now a man, you are insufficient. As a human being, you cannot do it by yourself. The scripture says in Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 23. Oh Lord, 
I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his path. Onye mwe mna chineke ama aram no unzo mke mada adigi na kaya obugi kwa nubu ya kodi ituzi unzo mkwaya. It is not in man that liveth to direct his steps. O dirigi madu onye kene bindu kwa hasi enzo kwaya. Story was told of Hagar, the second wife to Abraham. When she was sent away with her child to the wilderness to return to, to go to Egypt, Egypt the water they carried finished on the way. The little child Ishmael might be at the age of 12. And was dying of death. There was no way to find water in the wilderness. But there was a well of water there in that wilderness. It is not in the man that walked to direct his steps. It is not in a man to know automatically the source of virtue, wealth. It was not in Hagar to move around and trace where the well is. She was not informed that there was a well there. I am saying the things to improve your life, the things to bring solution to your life are around you. But you are limited in knowledge and understanding. Here the prophet said, Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. Man cannot know his way automatically where to turn to. Man cannot know automatically what to do. Man cannot know it is not in a man that walketh to direct his steps. I am saying something good is lying ahead for you. Something good is around you that will transform you, that will lift you up. But because of the insufficiency in you, you don't know it. That power is not in you. God didn't give it to you. Why? He did not make man to be independent from himself. Man must always come to God. Man must always look to God. Day he will show man the simple solutions of life. Then he would direct man to living water. Waters of love. When Hagar cried, the Lord told, Oh, this child is dying. The Lord came to her and said, I have heard the voice of your child crying. Please turn that side. There's a well of water there. Go and fetch it. Drink and give your child to drink. I am praying that in this conference, in this crusade, your eyes shall see the solution to your problems. Your eyes shall see what God has laid ahead for you. The Lord shall direct your path. Oh, 
Oge nyegezi ntu zaka banyero sanine nkendu gina hajizo. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Jehovah bonye nazumdi katoro odigi hekorom. The Lord is your shepherd. Make him so. You shall not want. Jehovah bonye nazumdi katoro. Kwe kaburo nyo zaturo ki odigi hekakogi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm saying Jesus is your sufficiency. Asirim nobu Jesus bonye ke meka afo juonu ki. Yes. And the Bible says. Aku konsosi. Unless the Lord builds the house, you never go in vain. Which means your strength and your wisdom are insufficient. Even money in your hand, money in the bank, whatever you say, is insufficient to build your life. Your wisdom cannot give you the sufficiency of life. Your strength cannot make you have all in all. Unless the Lord is the one raising you up. Unless the Lord is the one building you up. All this effort you are making will end to zero. Ma aburu ne wezu ka na ojo ba mchine ke no mwe bonye ne wuli tagi di kolo. Na haziki mbo ni ine na mba kariya na gini ine gabu yi henkiti. He will come to Solomon and say along with him vanity of vanities. All is vanity. I tinyo kukina woku Solomon ujiri. I hoga kwa ki una. I hefu. Nenu i hefu. Ati kota hani ine obi hefu. In the book of Psalm 127. Na kukwa abu oma otu buku ni hiri abu ona sa. Psalm 127 verse 1. A hiri nkembo. Except the Lord build the house, the labor in vain that built it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wake it but in vain. Oburu na Jehovah ewu ki ulo. Nefu kandi ne uya na adobo unha na ulo. Oburu na Jehovah eche ki obodo. Nefu kandi nche na amu uwe ori anya nefu. Except you commit your life to God. You commit your life to the Lord to build you up, to raise you up, to direct your way. All the effort you're making will come to nothing. At the end, you will say with Solomon, vanity of vanity. All is vanity outside God. Unless you give your life to God to watch over you, to be the security of your life, to care for your life, all those effort you're making for personal security, buying it from Satan, getting charms or whatever, getting policemen, whatever you call, to go along with you will end up to be zero. Aburu ni kwa kika Jehovah we buru onye na eche kwa kina hazi nzuku ki Egana achonde di bi anye nzue bi kwa kota iye jine eche na uwe makati mbada bobo uwe yaka Aburu na Jehovah eche ki Iyi mpo ni ni na ba wihefu Because no man outside God can protect himself from the evil day Ni na madobu na nkege wuzu ka chine ke ni mendi ya ezu ki eche kwa uwe nubo chin sobu gabia No man can overcome the day the Lord has said to judge him. Except you commit your life to Jesus, you hand over your life to Jesus to watch over you. Otherwise, I'm telling you, there is no hope for your future. God has not made a man to keep himself and protect himself but to depend upon God. 
ma chineke ke gi mmadu ka oburo nye ga echeku onwe roputara onwe kama ekere mmadu ka oburo nye ga da bere na chineke ni ihe nile you don't have the wisdom you don't have the strength to keep yourself from your enemies ah. only as you commit your life to jesus ika ho na mo miha hadigi ni megi nke ge zuru gi cheku onwe pa na ka onyi rogi nani na ka chineke ka odi menka your strength will come to an end ike gi nwere bo ge jedebe Your struggle will come to an end. Outside said go, your enemies will prevail. Your enemies are not just human beings. They are demons and these demons remain throughout your lifetime. Ndim ndi ojo anyi na eku abugi na ni mmado. Anyi na eku manyere ndi mmojo ndi atoro gburugu zo biwa. Aga no gide rembo igala mmo. So the Lord is telling you this. So your eyes should be open to a new way of life, a better way of life, a more sure way of life to hand over your life to Jesus. Chineke na meka oku ndi abia regi soki we nwe ike nwe mbibi. Chota ezuza nke ka mani sorondo. Uza nke na enyo nke genye goli la no di niru. Again, the Bible says the race is not for the swift. No the battle for the strong. Our cause we gan in Husira. Ike osa abuginde di ke bundi na meria. No go on abuginde nwere obu waka bundi na nwere no go. Those that win are not those that can run very fast necessarily. Ndi ukwu hadi nko abu ha na abundi mbu ma abu oso. Those that win in the battle are not those who have the instruments of war necessarily. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Na ku konye mpokota isi tolu. Verse 11. I hear in I returned and so under the sun that the race is not to the swift. Wela chiata no buru anyangu we chopota na oso abugindi nwere ukwu oso no the battle to the strong aga abukwa no gindi di karisirike no yet riches to mean of understanding akono ba abugindi ka chamara ihe na no yet favor to mean of skill mabu kwani iru ama nyende kacha na kwanka i'm talking to you because you will say but i've done everything i've applied all methods i've made all consultations but these things are not working the bible is telling you it's only through god that it will work inwari ke si etire o make ba uza adigi men ka men cousin has e he ni ne mara adigi ma ho sa akwaso na e make mara e was ga chi ne ke na akoko odigi he ga bara giuru those resources you have employed are not just enough to make them work god he, must be there he, god he, must be consulted so they should work ihe ndi ani ni iti yera aka iji aka we hazi chacha obu ni iwo zuka chineke na akoko ogaga dire ika akpo bata ri chineke ime ko lira anya ni dire we di ni hendia insufficiencies of man ezugo kenke madu you are insufficient you cannot do it by yourself ega ye me nwi hendia ni ile no nweki the ethiopian you know answer when he was asked do you understand what you are reading Onye Ethiopia na Josie amba jura si igotara ihe inagugwa how can i or except him some man will guide me osi ke kan ge si we gota na abogi mo nwuru onye kusierem but which man except the man sent by god will Oye. come to explain this thing to me onye kwanu na abogi onye chine ke ge zipo ibia me ka nwe ngota banyere ihe ndia what god is saying There is abundance for you but you have not been aware. Ihe chineke na make mara wona. Ihe o majuru eju we bara bara na akoko gi kama e ka nwe ngota. What God is saying, he that made you has reserved favor for you, has reserved riches for you, has reserved blessing for you, but you have not connected with him yet. Ihe chineke na make mara wona. Onye ho bo onye kere gi nwere akunu ba anya ftafo. Nwe iroma, nwe otutu ngosi we debere kama na e ka Tota bagi again yang wen meko you're struggling with your wisdom e jama me en kemaru we na dole you're struggling with your power e jiki keren kemaru we na dole ba your wisdom and your power are insufficient e kikeregi na kwa amami hegi aga gesurugi yes eh there are things that god says 
with mean they are impossible adi iye jine ke kwose na ebe madu no obu ihe ana apu ime in the book of mark akuko mark o so mark 10 verse 27 e siri ahiro kunke and jesus looking upon them said with mean it is impossible but not with god for with god everybody said all things are possible jesus wele hanya wesi nebe maduno obiya na pugime manebe chineke no apurimi heni ne maduno ne ku apurimi heni le Now listen to what the Lord is saying. Nanti ihe chineke ne ku. You're hoping for a future. Ine ngoli na anya banyere echi. You're hoping to achieve something. Anwere ihe ne ngoli na anya igweta. You want to run a big Adi ihe meto aka ichori tinya aka. But there is obstacle before you. Man enwere ihe mbochi no kporo soki. Some of these obstacles are known to you. Some are not known to you. O tutu ihe ndi akuchiru zo ufodu ni ime aka imara ufodu ke na amagi. And you cannot achieve them because human power cannot move those obstacles. Inwe ikwe ni ke inwe te hen dia ho ni na ikikere nke mmade apo ke iwo ziga oda chi ndia ho. No other human employment can move those obstacles. Odi gi ihe obu na ga si na aka mmade cheputa ma wo puta ga eme ke iwo ziga ihe mbochi ndia. With me it is impossible. Nebe mmu mmade no obu ihe na apo ke ime. Which mean then You, what you are hoping for cannot be done nkebona iha hi na elanya ya agaga disi what you are looking for cannot be cannot be gotten iha hi na achosi ke ike ga enwete ya because of the power of opposition ni ike nke na emeki degi because of the complexity of the situation ni o do no dan si we we ihe mbogo juanya but god says is not with god akwon so si iha ni na na juga anya apuru ime na ebe chineke for with god Ebe chineke no you can achieve it ipuri mwete ya with god ebe chineke no you can realize it i ga chopota ya with god ebe chineke no you can reach there i ga reba ho praise the lord tonu chineke yes eh john said something enwere ihe john kwuru in the revelation na akukwa mbuye he said oh see that a scroll was given to him to read enyeri to open and read enyeri akuko ka o mepe we goya but it was sealed maneseri ekpurukpuru it was sealed with seven seals eji udo isa we ke ekpurukpuru when it was given you could not read it benyeri ya ngwa ike go no man in heaven or on earth could read it odi mado bula nke no na eli gwe mabu no kpuru wa nweri ike go ya He started to cry. He started to cry. Then a voice came to him. Weep now. For the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed to open the sea and to read the writings of it. And therefore I'm telling you those impossibilities around you there is someone that can break through those witchcraft power release against you there is someone that can break Break them out of Get your life. The impossibility writing in your life. The sicknesses that cannot be cured. Weep now. For the lion of the tribe of Judah. Give me his name. Jesus. Lion of the tribe of Judah. Odumuku nke bo Judah. Give me his name again. Jesus. Uno kwa kwa ma hayozo. He as he is ready to set you free. Odinji karime ki nwere nwe ki. He is the one ready to throw off the devil from your life.
That's what I'm telling you. The earlier your eyes open to him, the better for your life. He has prevailed to solve human problems. You don't have anyone. You don't have a relation. You are an orphan. You are a widow. You are a poor man. You are a sick man. You are a woman of sorrow. Whatever your situation, the Lord is saying, Don't weep. Don't weep. Don't weep. There's someone around you tonight. Someone is standing where you are now. Give me his name. Yeah. You will be free. You will be free. Hallelujah. Hey. Zacchaeus. Today Ta. is salvation come to this house. Is that is that you? Yes, sir. Oh, is your deliverance today? Yes, that yoke that is wrapped around you. Is it today it shall be going? Yes. That enemy that is your neighborhood today is it the day the power will be broken over your life? Hallelujah! Amen. For now, the Lord came plainly to speak to mankind. Without me, you can do nothing. Chineke wekuo wekuo mu maruho hasi he was a gam nakoko adigi he prime in the book of John chapter 15 aku call John he hearing he say verse 5 i hearing ke i am the vine ye are the branches mo wen bu osisi vine ah uno wonu balaka ya he that abided in me and i in him the same bringeth forth much fruit for without me, ye can do nothing. Hey, Jesus is talking to every creature of his. Jesus Jesus is talking to every man. Jesus You see a skyscraper, a very big building. Here was the person who built the house. Look at him standing by the building. Jesus looked at his skyscraper. Jesus and looked at him. And say, without me, ye can do nothing. You say, ah, uh, ah, uh, what uh, do you mean? Is he a man that built about hundred story building. You say, what, what else can he do? Then Jesus looked at him. Then Jesus will ask you, has that skyscraper taken him to heaven? Jesus God jogi ola oburu na wude be ba okpoga go ni anywhere i sit gun to the point of entering heaven oruko no go ge boge se ba we ba na elibe the achievement of man is vanity in yen weta nke mado bu he cannot take him to heaven o gaga gboro gi ruena elibe he cannot deliver him from death o gaga na pota gi no hu he cannot deliver him from Satan. He cannot deliver him from hell. Oh. Jesus looks at the richest man in the country. Jesus, Everybody is hailing him. He's the man that is rich. This is a great rich man. Jesus looked at him. Jesus, where are you? I said, boy, where is your mother? Without me, you can do nothing. What does that mean? All your money will amount to nothing. 
Because the power to enjoy money comes from Jesus. Jesus As the patrick lays egg and does not brood over them. So he that get got riches not by right way shall leave them and at the end of his life become a fool. That's what the Lord is saying. They, that will not give life to him. It will not give satisfaction of life. You he heard of the wife of a, a very rich man in this country that left the man because of what? She never had satisfaction from him. She didn't have his time. But you have all the money. You have all the cars. You can go to any of the estates. People who say, oh, Madam, great, Madam, people will buy for you. She, she said, I didn't get married to money. I didn't get married to buildings or to cars. I got married to a man that I cannot see in the house. The Lord looks at a professor of learning. One of worldwide reputation. And looked at him. And said, Prof. Without me, ye can do nothing. But I finished my education. <laughs> I finished my education. Does that take your name to the book of life? Does that make you a candidate of heaven? Has education given you victory over the devil? I am saying without me you can do nothing. How much less you sitting here who are still beginning in love you better learn your lesson. Early Learn your lesson. Remember thy creator in the days of your youth. When the evil day has not come. When you shall come to say it is vanity. There is no pleasure in love. It is now. It is now. Jump into Jesus. Sorrow Jesus. It is now. Jump into Jesus. It is now. You receive Jesus. Receive Jesus. Jump to Jesus. Jesus. Embrace Jesus. Love Jesus. Jesus. Follow Jesus. Sorrow Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Fruitless effort of life. Fruitless effort of love. Fruitless effort of love. The prodigal son went out from the father's house in search for the pleasures of this life. In search for the satisfaction of love. But the Bible tells us. He spent his money in riotous useless living. Those things you are thinking are giving pleasure. They are useless. The pleasure of money is useless. The pleasure of men is useless. The pleasure of women is useless. The pleasure of title is useless. The pleasure of greatness is useless. Those things you're pursuing have no value. So, now he wanted to use wisdom. 
When his money finished, he wanted to use wisdom. The wisdom of man is insufficient. See what he did in Luke chapter 15. From verse 14 to verse 18 to verse 19. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in one. And he would fain have filled his belly with the hawks that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. Can you see what human wisdom can do? Don't be wasting your time to worsen your state. Quickly get up, move to Jesus. You have been failing, you have been failing. Your failure is the language of God saying you can't make it out. Your failure is the messenger of God telling you. Go to your creator who will make life sufficient for you. No wisdom can do it. He went really to get a job. What type of job? To feed swine, feed pigs. To feed pigs. They got him that job, but they were not paying salary. You can imagine that. It is a job he has to humble himself because he wanted to eat, to do that job, and yet they were not paying salary. Now, you are not paying me salary. Give me part of the food of pigs. They said, no, we won't give you. Thank God that man learned his lesson. That is the lesson I want you to learn. Don't remain in your situation. There's a solution. This man discovered the solution. His father's house. His father was the solution. Yes, he said in verse 17. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough to eat and to spare? And I perish with hunger. Your God feeds the birds of the air. Your God provides food for the ants that move on the earth. How much more shall he provide food for you? You met in his own image. How much more shall he provide sufficiency for you met in his own likeness? But you have been staying away from him. You have been staying away. The man says, I will arise and go to my father. That is the solution to now. You will arise and go to your father. You will arise and locate your creator. You will arise and locate your savior. You will arise and locate your provider. You will arise and locate your goal. That is what you need now. For your situation to change. For your shame to be taken away. For your discouragement to become encouragement. For your sickness to be healed. Arise. 
Bile. Go back to your God. Ga kuru onye chinekegi. Ara. Bile. Go back to Jesus. La kuru Jesus. That's what. Don't use human wisdom anymore. The wisdom that keeps you away from God is evil. I'm talking about fruitless effort in love. Some people resort to struggling and fighting. In James chapter 4, I read verse 1. James chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. From whence come, come woes and fightings among you? Come they not hence, even of your loss or desires that woe in your, your heart? Ye lost. Ye lost. And have not yet mm -hmm. kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Mm -hmm. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not. Mm -hmm. Because ye ask not. Mm -hmm. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss. That ye may consume it upon your lot. Can you see the word of God? Can you see? People fight in this life. People go into arm robbery and kill. People practice kidnapping and do every man of wickedness. Why? They want to have it in love. They want sufficiency in love. And yet, despite all this, they still don't have. They kidnap us are saying, with all the millions they gather from people, is just to take drugs and commit immorality and waste them. Nothing reasonable is done. It is not having money that matters. It is having the God that will make money useful to your life. So they have the money, but the money is poison to them. The money gives them restlessness. And because they want to hold. You desire. But you're not getting it. You even pray. Your prayer is wrong. You have not yet. Resigned from your. Self-sufficiency. You have not yet resigned. From your independence from God. You are still keeping yourself away from God. What prayer are you going to pray that will be useful? You have not repented from your sins. What prayer are you going to pray that will be useful? You are not giving honor to the God of your creation. How are you expecting to receive from him? You lost, you struggle, but you don't have. That's how people struggle from place to place. From country to country. From city to city. But they cannot have. Why? They have not Discover that God. Today. Ta. You will discover God. Yeah. Fruitless effort in love. Some turn to fellow men for help. Hmm. They turn to fellow men for help. And begin to beg me. Help me. Help me. Help me, help me. They forget their creator. Those beggars that have been begging, have they finished their job? 
Ndi ariri ajuru no boruzo. Ha oru ha gugo. Have they baked enough? Ha rata ko nkezuru ha. And have gathered enough to go and stay satisfied? We want to nkezuru ha ega busy na e bid dokomoko. You see them year to year begging. In our house, there's nobody stand out for run out for how can I read it? Well, now when they even beg you sitting down here now, how much do you give them? Give one. We don't give two. We have a rug. Every one of us is not bagger. We have a haka. If you have one thousand, do you carry one thousand and say you're giving a beggar? If you go to Pukunaira, in there where you on your on your radio. Even when you have two two hundred that are very clean, do you carry one clean two hundred to go and give a beggar? Me when I book on air, I pour the water in. I worry I will get so near Naka. That's what the Bible says. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. No, come on, it was Jehovah but you go be carry a iba it was in the man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in great men. Oh, come on, iba kuru Jehovah and it was you be carry a ida be in the man. You are putting confidence in your brother. In a you are putting confidence in your sister. You are putting confidence in your sister. You are putting confidence in this man in that other one. Now you are putting when you come to pick up before he got born you are ready but you have gone yeah but you know that sent you to this world only and kept up to give him to fulfill his desire he make a or teacher so okay god that will make you useful oh but you know again make it about that has not created a waster okay created something that has of no value okay he keep it here now but he said ma is honorable Thou hast made him a little lower than the angel. And has crowned him with glory and honor. Instead of looking to God, you're looking to man. That's why you're not seeing good. Kesset is the man that trusted in man and whose heart departed from the law. Onya na bonu kamada obu onya na tukasi madobi onya nke wapu waru cherebe chineke no. Back to Jesus. Na chikuta Jesus. Back to Jesus. Na chikuta Jesus. Back to Jesus. Na chikuta Jesus. Run away. Run to Jesus. Wow, bakaria kita no so bakuru Jesus. Man has been deceiving you. Madu no need here again. Giving you promises that don't get fulfilled. Ne kwagi nkwanka na dige mese mese. Trust in Jesus. To kwasi Jesus. He is the one telling you this. Oh, be awonya na kwagi nka. Your your brother is not more honorable than you. One day you woke I can again man. Your friend is not more honorable than you. Any gi ad e mo you go carry again. Turn to Jesus. Back to Jesus. Don't go and share money of sin with somebody. I gonna and I tell go up and not me here and make your situation worse. We make her honor to get carry angel. And where is in again in I that sense your soul. Oh for the inari and probi get funar again. Destroys you. Obibiegi because you will not turn to God. Me and I cannot talk to Ebe Chineke. Some yeah, go to Satan. Ofara na gakuru ekwensu. In Isaiah chapter eight verse nineteen. Ah, who call Isaiah? Isi asoto ahiro kunkiri no. Isaiah eight nineteen. Isaiah isi asoto ahiro kunkiri no. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards that be. And that matter should not a people seek unto their God. And we have got to see it. God no chand it more on our digotcha. My, I got to see it. Oh, but now, mother, I got to show on your career. But you don't can get in the. Oh, but you don't can get in where I want. They're telling you to go to that man there. I see it. I couldn't work on it. He will give you something. Oh, we didn't have any. That will give you riches. That woman there. He will do something for you. Your business will flourish. That river there. They will bath you in that river. You will become a star. The Bible says, Ye are of your father the devil. Who is a liar? You are going to be a liar. You leave the God of truth that created you in his image and you are going to a liar. Can Satan cast out Satan? Can Satan do good? Take a charcoal. 
a black charcoal and begin to chop it and see whether you come across a white thing inside. So, it's somebody who thinks that Satan is a good person. A perfect evil. Perfect darkness. All the good Satan is doing is a bed given to draw someone to him. The money will come, you will not last long. The money will come, somebody must die. You will get that thing, but you will reap ten times above it. You will get it, but a demon will enter into you to block you from heaven. We will be preaching this to Jesus and God to you. You will understand because you have exchanged your soul to Satan. Who told you that the devil can reward you? What good thing did you do to the devil that he will bless you? Then he will turn you to a waster. You'll be wasting people's lives. You'll be wasting people's society. Satan will turn you to a destroyer. You will destroy things beginning from yourself. But the Lord says, It is vanity. Don't to me. Yes, that's what Jesus is saying. That's what Jesus is saying. Your sufficiency. What your sufficiency. Your satisfaction. Jesus declare. Jesus was. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the law. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the law. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the law. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the law. Whosoever cometh to me shall be saved. No other way for you to live a real life in this earth. For you to live a real life in this earth. Life as God wants it to be in this earth is Jesus. The truth you need to do about this life is Jesus. The right way to follow, to live a satisfactory life is Jesus. The thief comes to steal to kill and to destroy. That Satan that you're thinking can bless you is a thief. He didn't create you. Okay, again. God created you. He didn't make your soul. God made your soul. He came to steal it. He came to kill you. He came to destroy you. But Jesus says, I am come that I might give you life. I might give you satisfactory life. You will be peaceful. You will be okay. Your life will be okay as God wants it to be. In the book of Matthew chapter 11, I read Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Empty person. You're carrying a heavy load. Heavy load over your life. Heavy lot over your children. Heavy lot in your marriage. Heavy lot in business. Heavy lot where you live. Come to Jesus. You will rest. 
He will handle that personal problem. He will handle the matter between you and your wife. He will teach you how to do it. That matter between you and your husband, Jesus will teach you how to do it. I will give you rest. Those people that are fighting after you, Jesus will handle them. The restlessness of life will be taken away. He says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is large. Jesus say, Jesus, sorry. come and consider my way. Although you are thinking as if it's a very hard thing. Hey, to be a Christian is not easy. It's a very wonderful life. The Holy Ghost will live in you and give you the power to live well. Yes. Yeah. Come to Jesus. He will save you from Satan. And from your enemies. Touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. That is what Jesus has told the devil. Come and be in under his protection. He will rebuke the devil for you. He will handle your enemies for you. You will have peace. That's Jesus talking to you. He will keep you on earth satisfied. Was he not the one that brought you to this life? Is he not the creator of your life? Did God create anything that has no purpose? He that sustains the trees in the forest, will he not sustain your life? He that keeps the sun hanging in the sky without falling, will he not sustain your life in this world? He that feeds the bears that don't have farm, will he not feed you? Come to Jesus and rest. The madman that had thousands of demons in him discovered Jesus. Jesus. Jesus cast out those evil spirits. Jesus, where chupun the mud on the And they came and saw the man sitting quiet and peaceful under the feet of Jesus. How have you who work a born on our new to the Nazi Akonuja Juroke and Uburuku Jesus? You will sit quiet and peaceful in full salvation and deliverance. Jesus. He will give you heaven. Okay, you are Jesus will give you heaven. Jesus gave me a tell you in the book of John, chapter 14. I will call John, he's sitting on this one to three. I hear in Kembu, where run and cut off. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Go be a real on a miracle. I'm correct on a chineke in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. The Lord is saying he will give you heaven. Jesus says he will give you a mansion in heaven. Jesus said he will give you comfort of heaven. Rise up upon your feet. And today, remember, Jesus is your sufficiency. And he's telling you, 
he will do it for your life. It is not in a man to direct his way. That man must turn to Jesus. Or put your mouth and say, Lord, I cannot direct myself again. You are the one to direct me. Oh, giga, chim, I commit myself to you, Lord. You will be the one to lead me. Open your mouth and pray. Yes. Eh. Unless the Lord builds your life, every effort you're making is useless. Unless the Lord watches over you. The personal security you played will mean nothing. The race is not for the swift. The battle is not for the strong. It is God that will lead you. God that will give you true riches. Riches with peace. Riches with righteousness. Commit your life to Jesus. Commit your life to Jesus. Commit your life to Jesus. I tell Jesus. I tell, give you my life. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Boy, Jesus. I give you my life. You have been struggling, but things are impossible on your way. Come to Him that can make things possible. Without me, say it, the Lord, you can do nothing. Don't waste time in fruitless service. Don't waste time in fruitless effort. Don't look for employment with pigs. Yes, Go back to your father. Prodigal son. You left your father. Return. That is your peace. That is your success. Return to your father. The Lord is calling you. The Lord is calling you. The Lord is calling you. Your struggles will not work without Jesus. Yes, yeah, don't don't trust in anybody. Trust in Jesus. It's better to trust in God than to put confidence in man. Don't to him. Don't go to Satan. Destroy whatever you collected from Satan. Your life must be given to Jesus. Today is the day. The day of Jesus. The day of the Lord in your life. Today is the day. Amen. The day of the Lord. I say today is your day, brother. You will give your life to him. Today is the day. Amen. The day of the Lord. Sister, today in your life. You will settle with Jesus. Today is the day. Oh, yeah. The day of the Lord. Amen. Today is the day. The day of the Lord in your life. Today is the day. Amen. The day of the Lord. Amen. Right now, you are ready for Jesus. Can you raise up your hand where you are? You are ready for Him. You are ready for Him. You don't want to live by your power. Let Jesus take over. You need him in your life now. Come forward here very quickly. You need Jesus in your life now. You need Jesus in your life now. Just be coming forward right now. Come and meet with Jesus. Come and meet with Jesus. 
the Jesus. Don't be ashamed. Your shame is for your shame. Your shame is for your shame. Because the Lord will bypass you. Come quickly, come quickly and give your life to Jesus. Come and settle with him. Come and settle with him. Those people who sons are up and say you should move forward. Come and settle with Jesus. Today is your day. The day you will encounter Jesus. The day you will settle with Jesus. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Don't go to him. Don't, don't accept Satan. Don't accept him. Accept Jesus. Jesus. He will take away the sorrow of your life. Okay, what's the guy him can do? Accept Jesus. Nabata Jesus. He will save you from your sin. Okay. He will give you life. Okay, Abundant life. Okay. Commit yourself to him. Tell him you are here before. Ask him to forgive your sin. You left him and went to evil. You went to the devil. Your case is in your hand now. No matter how long you have been with the enemy, your freedom can be now. Your deliverance can be now. Your freedom can be total. Open your hammer and say, The Lord, I am here. Tell the Lord, I am ready. Jesus, I am ready. As a prodigal son. As a prosecutor daughter, I have returned. Welcome, your Lord. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. I am tired. I can't deliver myself. I can't deliver myself. My father cannot help me. My wife cannot help me. The government cannot help me. I'm tired of culture. I'm tired of custom. Oh Lord, I am helpless. Have mercy upon me. In Jesus' name we pray. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805 you can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe
Jesus, I will. 